What's up everyone, my name is Lucas with The Culture Project. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how the virtuous life is the risky life. Not frisky, risky. Have you ever come to a point in your life where you ask yourself, is this it? Where you experience this plateau effect. And in this, you know a change is needed. There's a need for risks to be taken. I found myself in this place at a point in my life. I was an 18 year old freshman in college following the normal cultural progression. I became involved in the same college experiences. I lacked purpose. Ultimately, I realized over the course of that year that I wasn't where I needed to be. I knew that God was inviting me to do something drastic, to really shake things up. I thankfully took a risk. Oh, we live in a world where everything is so calculated. Risks are being taken less and less every single day, even by those of us who are trying to live a life of virtue, a life completely surrendered to God. And in living this safe, reserved, and ultimately mediocre life, we don't actually give ourselves the opportunity to experience all that God has in store. He's calling us all into a life of deep and profound faith that, yeah, a lot of times may seem really crazy, yet He calls us nonetheless. An overly safe and reserved approach to life doesn't help us pursue virtue. The virtuous life can't be calculated. It can't be reserved. The purpose of virtue is to channel all that we are towards love. Love that is reserved, safe, stagnant, and ultimately mediocre isn't love. Now, if you truly desire a love that is radical and untamed, a love that pursues fiercely, a love that is so profound that a person would completely abandon himself for the sake of sharing it as a gift, you have to take risks. Virtue demands this of us. Now, when I think back on the drastic change I made in my life at 18, the greatest lesson I learned from it was this, that the truly beautiful life is the one so completely abandoned to Christ that no fear, no worry, no concern is big enough to keep us from becoming the person God has called us to become. If only we have faith, if only we are willing to take risks to become that person. So, how can we do this? How can we begin to take the risks, prudent risks, today? One, seek mentorship. I don't know about you, but the biggest and most risky decisions I've made in my life always have come after speaking and seeking advice from trusted people in my life. Surround yourself with those people and ask for help. Two, face your fears. This doesn't have to be something stupid. You don't have to go watch the movie It if you're afraid of clowns. This can be something like asking that girl out that you've really wanted to pursue, or trying out for that sport team that you really want to be a part of. Every day, make the commitment to do one thing that you're afraid to do and be courageous. Three, pray boldly. Ask God to make you holy and to not hold back. There's nothing riskier than genuine prayer. And if you ask, you will receive. Being a Christian is risky. It's a journey that will test you and bring you to your wit's end, yet, the life and love that God desires to give us through that journey is worth it all. Why? Because it's His life and His love that will truly set us free. Hey everyone, it's Lucas. Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe, come right up here. If you want to watch more videos, come right here. Thanks everyone. Get risky, not frisky.